we're going to look at how do you create the altitude for a triangle when the triangle is obtuse. And in my previous video, I showed you how to create the altitudes for a triangle. The, altitude, the, the common point for the altitudes, the orthocenter, ended up being inside the triangle. Now, for an obtuse triangle, things work out a little bit differently. Notice again, the definition of altitude is a segment from a vertex that is perpendicular uh, to the opposite side or to the line containing the opposite side. Now, this is the part we're going to focus on for an obtuse triangle, the line containing the opposite side. What does that mean? Well, in the other video, what I had shown you was that you could take a note card and using that right angle at the bottom of the note card, you could, in essence, create a perpendicular line. So what we did was we slid this, uh, we lined it up with the bottom of the triangle and we slid it along that side of the triangle until it lined up with the vertex opposite that side of the triangle. Now you'll notice as we go across here, we don't have our note card, my note card lining up with the vertex, it's still out here. We run out of triangle. So what we do in a case like this is we extend the line containing that side of the triangle. So now I can take my note card and I can slide it across the triangle, slide it across that bottom side of the triangle until it meets up with that vertex. And once it meets up with that vertex, then it will draw in my altitude. There is the altitude from this vertex to the opposite side, and the line containing the opposite side. Now I can do that for each of my vertices. So again, I'll go along here and I will slide my note card along this side of the triangle until it lines up with a vertex. And there we go, it lines up with that vertex right there. There's an altitude. And then my last one. This vertex here, here's the opposite side. So I'm going to take my note card and slide it along here and I end up with the same issue as I did with the first side in the first vertex. I continue to slide it along here, I'm out of my I'm out of room on the side of my triangle and I still haven't hit that vertex. So I'm going to have to do the same thing that I did with this side with to this side. I'm going to extend this side of the triangle. Now, I'm take my note card and again, I'll continue to slide my note card along that side of the triangle until it hits that vertex. And I can draw that in and there is an altitude. Now you'll notice that my three altitudes, one, two, three, they haven't met at a, at a single point yet. But you'll notice that they each seem to be converging on a point that's somewhere out here. So to find the orthocenter where all the altitudes meet up, we're just going to extend the line of each of these altitudes. So with the note card, I'm going to go through and extend the lines for each of the altitudes. Extend that second altitude and then that third one. So we've got those altitudes all extended there and now you'll see that they do meet up at a point and this orthocenter where they all meet up is outside of the original triangle. So this is what's meant by sometimes the orthocenter can be inside or on the triangle or in this case outside of the triangle.